At the initial stages, when patients are diagnosed, many times we'll move forward with neurosurgical resection um, if there's a solitary lesion or if the diagnosis is in question or if there is a large space occupying lesion um, that's causing the patient mass effect. Um, depending on whether or not neurosurgical resection is required, we then typically go to radiation therapy. Um, and that, I think, uh, landscape may be changing in the future as our systemic therapies continue to advance. Um, but traditionally, patients with a limited number of brain metastases will receive stereotactic radiosurgery to each of those lesions. Uh, if there are multiple lesions, and that number is debatable, um, potentially over 10, um, or dural, diffuse dural-based disease, then patients will receive whole brain radiation therapy. And then at that point, in consultation with the medical oncologist, based on the patient's subtype um, and presence or absence of extracranial disease, uh, we'll recommend systemic therapies that are most appropriate. So the, the timing of each of these is important for each of the modalities of care um, uh, to, to be discussed. Um, and I think there are multiple clinical trials looking at the timing and combinations, particularly of radiation therapy with systemic agents ongoing um, presently.